High along the mountainous spine of Timor-Leste, children in the town of Lac Lubar head for class. In this quiet place, nestled under the canopy of tall trees in one of Asia's poorest countries, a scene of tranquility masks a darker history that is only beginning to fade. The fact that 13-year-old Madalena Suarez can come to class at all represents a success story of local and international cooperation. She is not only a student, but a leader, serving as president of her school's student council. I like mathematics and when the teacher gives us homeworks, I can do it. I also like Portuguese because knowing this language will help me improve my communication. Her classroom is not ideal, a floor of earth and walls of stitched bamboo. But most other rooms here are in better condition. Her school and the community here suffered heavily following Timor-Leste's referendum to become independent from Indonesia in 1999. Then, pro-Indonesian militias retaliated with a wave of torching and killing, forcing hundreds of thousands of Timorese to flee their homes. In 1999, all the people, including children, were scattered. We were in the mountains, students, parents. When we came back, many students did not go back to school. The school buildings in Lak Lubar were left in ruins, with no roof and no desks or chairs. A group of local school leaders took matters into their own hands, launching an effort to restore the school. They sought out other former teachers to return to class and mobilized the community to pitch in however they could. The schools were in bad condition. The parents also contributed by supplying chairs, tables, and other small things that are needed for the school to function. The community showed their greatest interest and willingness to reestablish the schools because they wanted something good for their children. Across the new nation, the education situation was dire. In the capital, Dili, much of the population had fled and many school buildings were burned. Uh, as a consequence of the uh, referendum, uh, all the infrastructure, were, the majority, 80% of the infrastructure were, were destroyed, were burned, destroyed. Uh, in terms of teachers, 80% of the teachers at the time were Indonesians or Timorese who uh, decided to join Indonesia. The students, you know, were left abruptly, so we had to start from scratch. Facing this enormous challenge, the government of Timor-Leste teamed up with UNICEF for this unique opportunity to rebuild its entire education system from the ground up. In collaboration with UNICEF and partners, it has developed a new curriculum, continues to rehabilitate schools, and trains thousands of teachers. Part of its strategy in Timor-Leste involves making schools a place that teach not only basic knowledge, but skills such as tolerance, mutual respect, and the ability to live peacefully with others. One element of the curriculum includes peace education, civic education, and human rights, so that the, uh, the next generation will have the main principles of human rights and uh, how to work together and uh, provide support to each other, then maintaining peace for a better future. The umbrella approach to deliver high-quality education is UNICEF's model on child-friendly schooling. Among other aspects, it encourages both children and the community to become more involved in the education process. The public primary school of Batara in Lak Lubar is one of nearly 40 schools across Timor-Leste implementing the child-friendly school program. When teachers had no training, they used the traditional method in teaching, and that meant that the teachers were dominant and active in the classroom. After the teachers' training, the students are now more active. After they get the training from UNICEF, today students are more active in the classroom and everything is centered on the students. Teachers facilitate the activities of the students, and students are active in this learning process. The program urges participation not only from students, but their parents as well. This plan is important to help ensure that parents have an active role in the school. 
This will benefit the children and make schooling successful because in the past, parents had to pay for the school, which caused many difficulties for the families. But today, there is a government policy through the Ministry of Education that says access to schools must be free of charge. And because of that, the parents are more willing to have their children go to school. Just up the hills in the nearby village of Funar, Mario Baptista walks to his school, named in honor of the country's president, José Ramos Horta. Mario had to drop out of school for two years because his family could not afford to pay the school fees. He returned in 2008, when the fees were abolished. Mario's school has received financial support from the government, but it has not yet implemented UNICEF's child-friendly schools approach. Teachers here rely on more traditional methods, such as rote learning. The school's principal says they are also still short of teachers in classrooms. The problem is to find ways to help provide training for the teachers as well as get more teachers on contract. We also need training on the curriculum. Our priority is on the curriculum so that we can have a better foundation and so that if there are mistakes, we can refer to the curriculum for corrections. For children, parents, and community leaders, efforts to rebuild the country's education system provide an opportunity to reach more marginalized communities such as Laklubar and Funars. We do not want it to happen, as it did during the Indonesian time, that the Timorese are illiterate. Our children should not follow our path. They should live a better life and be well educated. Madalena has dreams of one day becoming the nation's education minister. If I become a minister, I will be focusing on helping the schools in order to have them running properly. A sentiment echoed by those overseeing Timor Leste's fledgling education system. So education is not only for education, for educating people, but educating people also to, to provide skills in order for them to better um, uh, actualize themselves, uh, prepare themselves to, to be uh, part of the uh, development process. So education is, is, is a, a must, I think, for a country like us.